Hey YouTube! Um, so my name is Eliani. Um, if you're like me and you're watching this video, it's probably because you have really dark hair and you're really nervous and you want to lighten it up as much as you possibly can, but you're surely unconvinced because mostly all the videos kind of show people with naturally light brown to blonde hair, dyeing their hair blonde, and getting white hair. It's like, okay, cool, like... You already practically have light hair. You don't feel me. I don't know if I should trust what you're doing. So, if you're like me, I am here to help you. If you have naturally really, really dark hair. Also, my hair is really thin and really brittle. Like, I was so scared to bleach it, but it turned out perfectly fine. Then watch this video. Also, I assume if you're also watching this video, you've watched like a hundred trillion thousand other ones on how to get blonde hair so you roughly kinda know the products and all that me I know when I was looking for a video I got really frustrated finding like 20 minute videos because I'm so impatient it's like give me step one two three four five like that's it like done like just tell me how to bleach my hair um sorry that I'm not including how I did it it was such a long complicated process just ugh. anyways so, if you have naturally dark hair, mine actually had tints of red in it because I dyed it so often red and it didn't turn any pink color and stuff. I don't know what to tell you if you have intense red hair, but um, as you can see, my hair is like dark, dark brown. Um, so, literally, you can do this in two steps, unless your hair is intense, really, really dark, then maybe three, but two steps. Okay, number one, buy clear blue L'Oreal bleach. Buy at Sally's. Everything I bought was at Sally's. Buy that bleach. It's the best bleach in the whole entire world. Like your hair, like your, when it's in your scalp, it'll feel like warm and tingly. It will not burn. It doesn't even itch. Just like buy that bleach. It lifted my hair like once. I only needed to bleach it once to get into that yellow, like ugly yellow stage. Um, so what you want to do, this is like a two, four, ten people job. Just kidding, two. One person. Um... I would do the tin foil method where you like grab your piece of hair like this, don't touch your roots, and you just kind of like da da da, you like wrap it in tin foil, start from the top and work your way to the bottom. Make sure every strand is super saturated because odds are you're only supposed to keep the bleach on for like 45 minutes and if you start from the bottom and work your way on the top and it's such a long process, by the time you're at the top, everything on the bottom has been there for 45 minutes and then you get really freaked out like I did. I freaked out so bad. So that was my mistake. Start from the top and work efficiently. Just start from the top, get little pieces like this, put your little tin foil, do everything, blah blah blah, tin foil it up, put um, hair dryer so it could be warm, just whatever, blah 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 wait like 30 minutes then put it all on your roots and wait another 15 minutes kind of eyeball it just wait till it's kind of light but don't leave it on for more than like I don't know just don't leave it on for intense long time because then you're gonna like lose your hair and your scalp and then it won't grow back but just time managed make sure everything's on for 45 minutes the tinfoil method is super easy because if you feel like the top part has been in for too long you can just wash the top part and leave the bottom whatever you just do you second I used T8018, the Wella Charm Toner. That thing only took out, like, my brassiness, like, half a step. Like, I watch every single video, and everyone, like, every single blonde video, whatever, everyone's like, use that toner, use that toner, it's the best toner. Okay, like, it was so not the best toner for me. It made my hair super, super, super dry. Like, after the bleaching, my hair was okay. My hair is actually really okay. And what I do is that I buy the leave-in conditioner packets and I leave it in my hair and I never wash it out. Like, I just leave it like that. Like, it dries out, not sticky, really, and it's just perfectly fine. The Wella Charmer, I don't know. Skip that step. Step one was bleaching your whole head. Awesome. Now you're at that pale yellow whatever stage. Step two, buy Ion Color Brilliance High Lift Light Ash Blonde. I think it's number 12.1 in the description. I guess I'll put mm, the items I used. Use that holy guacamole in my hair. After I did my hair like blonde, I put hot pink in my hair because it was like a bubblegum pink and then I kind of faded to a peachy pink and then I don't really like it. And I'm like, should I do a toner? Should I use like a box hair? Blah, blah, blah. I used that. My hair was light ash blonde. Like, I don't know if you can tell like this because the lighting and my like windows right here and then my and then my walls are pink. I don't know. Just eyeball it. Whatever. That's not the point. If you want intense white blonde hair, I don't know. But if you're trying to go from like a really dark hair color or you're at that stage where your hair is already like beige and you wanted a cool blonde and you don't know if you should use a hair box dye or another toner, this, just use 
this product. It works awesomely. Like, I left it in for only, like, 30 minutes, 30 cream developer. Bomb diggity. Like, my hair was light ash blonde. Like, awesome. I am a blondie. Um, and then, yeah, so... <laughs> If you're trying to get your hair somewhat naturally light, just light enough for it to be blonde and not yellow or ugly, or if you're trying to dye your whole head some crazy colors like I normally do, then this is all you need. Like I even bought this like shampoo rinse um, that turned my hair steel. Like normally you have to have like white hair or whatever. You do not. You do not. This this shade of Blonde will get you where you want to go. Unless you intense want white hair, then I don't know, I don't know what to tell you because that's kind of really scary. Um, but yeah, so I hope this worked out. Uh, leave me any comments or something if you have any more questions about anything in the whole entire world. I hope this helped you. Maybe. I don't know. Um, 